listen close because there ain't much time. I've done my best to raise your life. Time to earn our pay. what I'm trying to tell you. I ain't your father. Go on. Thomas McGruder, a railroad man. He's taking over the territory. Us and the Apaches are the only ones fighting back. Count me in, too. Welcome to the resistance. They get the upper hand. I promise you'll put a bullet in my head before they have their fun. Let's do what they don't expect. Attack. God damn, kid. No one is gonna stand in the way of my destiny. You understand? No one! Welcome to episode 29 of Box News. Uh, thank you for tuning in for yet another episode this week. Uh, this week's game is on Activision's Gun, um, which is not a ripoff of Red Dead Redemption. For those of people who sing the intro, if you look at the intro, it was released in 2005. It was a lot, one of the early launch titles for the Xbox 360, um, so it did not rip off Red Dead Redemption. It was out before it. Um, if basically I'm going to recommend this game right off the bat. It, it, I'm going to do a quick review on it because it's been quite some time since I played the game. So I'm just going to do a quick review. This is definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, definitely worth picking up. You can find it anywhere used, less than five dollars, no joke. I mean, it's it's five years old. The graphics are not going to look the best from that trailer. You're not seeing the best. Like that's polished up gameplay. It's not the sharpest looking game. But the story is much similar to Red Dead Redemption, so if you can't afford Red Dead Redemption yet, which is still over $50 used, pick up Gun and play through that. It's it's worth a playthrough. It'll probably take you 10 to 15 hours, much like Red Dead Redemption, if you just fly through the story. It doesn't have all the cool little things, all the mini-games like Red Dead Redemption, but it does have enough to keep you satisfied for a Western uh, you know, kick. It has railroads, it has horses, it has, for some reason, Westerns, all Westerns, Call of Juarez, Red Dead Redemption, Gun. Um, I mean, I wasn't around in these times, but for some reason, everything goes slow motion. Why is that with Westerns? Why does everything go slow motion and everybody has like a, a dead eye or a sharpshooter or eagle eye? You know, I, if somebody answer that question for me, comment. I, I don't get it. I don't get why Westerns have slow motion. It seems sort of a sci-fi thing, like Matrix but apparently westerns are the ones that have incorporated um, slow motion. But it's cool, it works, it allows for easier shooting, easier gun mechanics, uh, because this game does not have the best shooting mechanic, but it does work with the slow motion. Um, the riding mechanic of the horses are you know clunky. It's, it's not the best game, but it's worth you know five bucks if you can find it. Um, gun, it's it's a western. You you've seen from the the beginning trailer here. You play the story, you know, getting gaining revenge on your family, going through. There's towns littered throughout the you know the wild west. There's just different things to do. It, it was a really you know I really enjoyed it back then. If I were to pick it up now and play, I really don't know. Um, after playing Red Dead Redemption, I really don't know if I th think it'd be an amazing game. But if you play it before Red Dead Redemption, you'll have a blast, and you might even have a blast if you play it after Red Dead Redemption. Um, like I said, it's not worth $60. It's an old game now. Um, was it fantastic when it came out with the system? Yes. Is it fantastic now? No, it's not the most fantastic. But I do definitely recommend picking up Gun. It's available now if you could find it for less than 5 bucks. If you just want your Western kick until you get your hands on Red Dead Redemption this you know, Christmas, or however you end up getting your hands on it. I know we're still a little ways away from Christmas. I started that early. Um, uh, so I'll start playing Christmas songs for everyone. Um, especially Andrea Lana. I'm going to start playing Christmas songs for you. So be on the be on the lookout for that. But um, just a quick wrap up. Gun controls, you know, they're clunky. Graphics, not the best. Gameplay, fun replay value. There's, you know, a lot to do in the game. 
Um, not as many side missions. Um, but, I mean, it's fun. It's a Western. If you dig Westerns, definitely pick this one up. It's it's not the most amazing Western out there, but it, for 2005, launching the 360, it definitely showed, you know, hey, 360 is going to be a fun system. It's going to have a lot of good games. Now, here we are five years later, Red Dead Redemption. Um, I, I just can't wait to see what we can get in another five years, you know. We, we might have some fantastic games, but please do not make them all motion games and do not make them all 3D games. Please, someone stop this madness. I um, just want to thank you again for tuning in to episode 29 now of Box News. A lot more stuff to come. Um, wrapping up, you know, these these episodes here. I got a, I got a busy month ahead of me. So you're going to see some old school games just because I'm not going to have time to finish a lot of new games. Um, come next month, I'll have time to finish some new games. So I'll be able to review those. Um, but these, a lot of these games are going to be throwbacks just because I don't have time to play and finish a lot of new games. I'm um, moving locations, so you're going to see a few more episodes episodes of Box News at this location, and then I'll uh, give you a farewell tour, and then you'll see a new location, which I don't know is where it is yet. But um, be on the lookout for that in the next month. There's a lot of new exciting games coming out in the fall. We're heading into the last uh, quarters of the year. Uh, the big games are coming out. So, just once again, thank you for watching Box News. Tell your friends, please subscribe, and I promise they'll be more entertaining from here out. Buy a gun. Five bucks. Come on. Get it. Thank you.